She runs to his side of the car. And I realized that Cork was asleep and his door was locked. And so I, um, I went and I found a rock to break the window. If you have any explanation as to what might have caused that fire. I, I really, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I was constantly running out of gas. <laughs> Cork had me buy a gas can and put it in the back of the car so that I wouldn't run out anymore. <laughs> Am I, am I going to be able to go home soon? Let's just keep talking. She's very naive because she she believes it's over. She has no idea what's going on. And a one, two, three. We are going to a luau. To a luau. My mother was very extroverted and my father very introverted. I think that my father might have married my mother to bring the joy and warmth into his heart that he lacked. Well, when, what time did he leave? <sighs> no, thank you. I'll try back. As they're breaking up, there were dozens and dozens and dozens of phone calls. I've already left two messages. So he's going to be gone all weekend? My conclusion is that she was capable of it. I think there was something really deeply fractured in, inside her.